realised that if we didn't get together, form the guild, push it forwards, drive it as hard as we could, that no one else was going to. Uh, there's no other mouthpiece for the, for, for the professional chauffeur industry and our long-term goal is pretty much to be that. Um, what we're trying to do is set a baseline or benchmark within the industry that shows that people know what they're doing via soft skills and via practical element. Lots of chauffeurs say that they want to be recognised separately from private hire and, and, and taxiing. Nothing wrong with those jobs but they are a completely, uh, a completely different role. Um, and I think no one was going to come up with anything uh, so it was up to us to say right we'll, we'll, we'll take it on. There's zero regulation in the industry that there's nothing stopping anybody from putting on a suit one day, getting behind the wheel of a car and saying, I'm now a chauffeur. Um, there's no law against it, but there, there's nothing really tangible that separates professional, well-rounded chauffeurs from, from anybody else. And what we're looking for is a certain level of what a chauffeur pertains to be. Because they're coming to us and they're telling us they are a chauffeur, so we would therefore like to see what their idea of what a chauffeur is. Bearing in mind there's lots of different variances over the years of what a chauffeur is and what a chauffeur isn't, and it varies according to the industry. So our benchmark is set at a place where we think most people will be able to pass. On arriving on the assessment day, uh, the very first thing that we do is to try to put the candidate at their ease. Uh, we're, we're on their side, we obviously want members, we want professional chauffeurs to be part of the Guild. Oh, they can expect quite a stringent process, there's no doubt about that, but it has to be. There was no point ever doing this if it was going to be easy for everyone, otherwise we're, we're no better than the local authorities handing out licences like sweets in some cases. Um, it's something that people need to prepare for. It's not an easy process, but it's a very fair process and it's a very necessary process. Well, we felt it was quite important to introduce first aid as a standard into the professional driving industry. And to that end, we're actually um, asking that every member or every potential member who goes for the assessment uh, has to have uh, the minimum of, of, a, of a one day emergency first day at work qualification. On the day, they'll sit the Highway Code multi choice exam, which again is a necessary pass to carry on. Um, and then from there they'll do a practical assessment which takes in everything from advanced driving element, elements of advanced driving through to chauffeur skills, personal attributes, um, appearance, deportment, communication with the client, um, the whole host of things that we as chauffeurs would be expected to deal with on a, a daily basis. By saying it's achievable, but you come here, there's a little bit of nerves, you've got some butterflies in your belly, you're being assessed, your driving's being assessed possibly for the first time for 20, 25 years or more, so that's always a bit worrying. But day to day you, you project yourself as a professional driver, so it's, kind of, it's an achievable assessment around your normal daily driving ability. The new member can go away holding their head high basically, knowing that they've passed what essentially is, is a very high quality assessment. It just gives that members, members of the public reassurance that these guys have been through some kind of process, they have been checked, their skills have been certified um, and they are the real deal. You know, when you send out um, information to a client, be that by email or by letter, you can include the crest of the guild and, it, and provide a brief explanation and it shows that you're trying to provide a pro professional quality service to the clients that you service. There is someone out there that you know, supports what you do, um, supports your business, uh, supports you in, in your employment or whatever you're doing, whatever role you have as a chauffeur. Um, and yeah, we, we, want to be there, we want to be there for the good guys. Yeah, yeah we, we really want to encourage people to, to come forward and, and give it a go. Um, the, the assessment process is quite challenging, but it, it is possible, it is feasible to get through it. Please just just give it a go. Show your skills. Uh, if if you think you're if you think you're good and you're calling yourself a professional chauffeur, all we're saying is, come and show us that and uh, let, let us support you. <laughs>